Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to automate the activities using Odoo 18 CRM. The Odoo 18 CRM module provides a various automation activities including lead scoring which automatically scores leads based on their potential value to the business. Using this feature, this saves the time and improves efficiency and enhances the customer experience by ensuring all salespeople follow the same process. To configure the sales activity, we can just move on to the CRM module. Under the configuration settings, I mean under the configuration, we can find the activities and we can choose the activity types. So here you can find all the activities that is configured. By default, it will be having the list view. If you want to switch between the views, you can simply move on to the Kanban view and you can find all the activities over here. I would like to choose the activity which is make card. Here we have to provide the name of the activity, after which we just need to provide the activity settings such as the action, the default user, the default summary, keep den, default note and everything. So uh, here you can find different actions that to be performed. In this case, we can schedule the activity like uploading the documents, phone calls, text, report, meeting and all. When you just choose different activities, you can simply see that the fields will be getting changed over here. In this case, I would like to choose the action as none and the default user that will be Michelle at me. Here we are just going to do a discuss proposal and we can just enable this field. And we can also find a field called keep 10. This keeps the activities mark as 10. And here you can also find the default note and under the next activity, we can also provide the chaining type, which means once we have just in with a discuss proposal or schedule an activity, we just need to go with a chaining action over here. We just need to automatically schedule a I mean, an automation of the uh, activity over there. We can also set the email template over here and we can also schedule uh, 15 days after previous activity deadline. Once everything is done, you can save the changes that you have made. As you just move on to the sales pipeline, you would be able to find all the potential leads over here or uh, the pipelines. So in this case, I would like to choose product pricing and you can find, we can schedule the activity over here. So you can simply click on the icon that is the clock icon and choose the schedule and activity. Under the activity type, we have to choose the activity as make a cart. So once that's choose, you can see all other details will be auto populated and you can simply click on schedule. So you can see what we are going to do over here. And once the activity is scheduled, you can see that it will be marked under the chatter. Now you can find due in 15 days, discuss proposal as well as the note that we have provided. Now once we have click on mark as done, you can find that we can provide the feedback over here. Now let's say create quotation for the lead and click on done and schedule next. So in this case, you can see that we have automatically created the next activity over here. So this is how we just manage with the creation of the activities. And under the reporting, we can find the reports. So as we just move on to the activities, this shows the reports over here. So here we have different measures such as count. If we want to insert this into a spreadsheet, we can easily do that. And we can switch between the representations. And here we go with everything. Now, if you want to just move on with the other filters, you can also just get that. If you want to find the filters based on stage, you can easily get that. And if you want to just get this based on the salesperson and sales team, then also you can find that. We can also switch between different views for the activities such as graph, pivot and list. So in this case, you can find all the qualified leads over here and uh, the newly created one. And uh, you can see uh, the salesperson and everything upon the filtration, everything will be loaded over here. So that's how we just deal with the automation of the activities in Odoo 18 CRM. So I hope this video clarifies how to set or automate the activities in Odoo 18 CRM. If you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.